What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Travid, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to be capturing, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Zygarde. And, uh, well, it is not that hard to find because, well, let's see, we just became the champions. We're great, we're awesome, and, uh, well, there is a few other things that we need to do right here, and that is we need to put on a repel. Like, plenty of repels just because... There's going to be a lot of Pokemon trying to attack us and all that stuff. So, let's see. Where, oh, where are those, uh, <laughs> how many, uh, repels that I've bought over the years and stuff. Or over the months and all that crud. So, let's see, we got the super repel. What the hell? Could have sworn I had some max repels. Maybe I just passed them by. I don't know. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you, max repels? Oh, my God. You gotta, you gotta love this. Okay. Well, it seems like to me I only got quite a few, or I used them all, so I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center because, well, you know, your boy has to be very, very, very prepared for all this stuff. Anywho, in our last episode, we managed to capture ourselves Mewtwo. That Pokemon, well, and these games are, oh, wow, it seems like I do have uh, Max Repels, I just, you know, I haven't seen them. Okay, never mind. Um, like I was saying... We managed to capture ourselves Mewtwo, the legendary Pokemon from Kanto. And, uh, well, let's see. Where the heck are the, those Max Repels? That way I don't forget. Let's see. Either that or my dyslexia is kicking in. Let's see. Ah, there you are. Okay. So, we captured Mewtwo. And, uh, we got ourselves the Mewtwo Knight Y. Which, of course, evolves it into Mewtwo, or Mega evolves it into Mewtwo Y. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, yes, I've included a few Pokemon, familiar Pokemon, from, uh, you know, our Pokemon Y walkthrough. As you can see, Goku is with us, level 78, if you guys don't remember. Yeah, we kind of used him in, uh, we kind of used him, uh, a lot. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a Max Repel because we just don't, yeah, we, we don't want to get bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. So, Zygarde right here. As many of you guys already know, I've had plenty of complaints myself uh, when it comes to when it comes to its uh, legendary status and all that stuff. That being that, you know, hey, where is the definitive game for Zygarde? Why didn't we get ourselves a Pokemon Z? That's been the question for like what, almost ten years or so, and nobody or Pokemon hasn't uh, hasn't answered it until well, most recently, like. I want to say a month, a month ago, right? Yeah, it was a month ago where Nintendo announced that they were going to come out with a new Pokemon game, a new uh, Legends game, Pokemon ZA, Z to A or ZA. I don't know how they, they're going to be calling it. Comment down below, you know, help me out here, guys. Um, but yeah, the new game that is going to cover from what it seems like or from what it sounds like. Uh, one portion of the Kalos region, which is, of course, Lumioi City, uh, and I guess it's bringing back Mega Evolution and all that stuff, so I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to, like, play it and see if this is actually, like, okay, they're actually gonna, like, finish the story with, uh, Zygarde right here, because we kind of do, like, we, we, we kind of really did need that, we really needed it, and, uh, well, the way to find Zygarde, you gotta go all the way towards the very end right here. And if you guys remember, there was a person blocking the way in this entrance. Very easy. Once you have defeated the Pokemon League, this entrance has become, uh, you know, it has become, uh, you know, open to us. Now, before we go straight down the middle, there are a few things that we need to actually grab. And, well, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Max Repel. If you go down here, you're going to be seeing a light. Right here, you're going to be finding yourself the Adamant Orb. I believe this orb goes to one of the legendary Pokemon from uh, from Sinnoh. Go upstairs right here. And you'll find yourselves a Gracia, uh, Gracius Orb, which goes to the evil Pokemon itself. What's his face? Uh, uh, Giratina, Giratina, however you guys like to call it. And if you go right here, you're going to find yourself the Lustrous Orb. Which goes to, I want to say, I think the Lustrous Orbs goes to the Lottes right here. Probably, I don't even know. And if you go down the middle right here, you'll 
be able to find yourself a big nugget, hopefully a big chicken nugget. And well, the only thing you need to do now is go straight up to this guy. There he is, Zygarde. The Pokemon with the unfinished story that, well, I'm not going to lie, they kind of screwed it up in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I mean, I'm just saying. Now, I'm going to start off with Fluff Volt because it does have a move or a technique that I kind of want to take advantage of. So, let's go right ahead and do it. Alrighty, here comes the incredible legendary music. So here it is, guys, Zygarde, the legendary Pokemon of Kalos, the Pokemon with, uh, I don't even know what happens. So Zygarde has, uh, is at level 70. It is a dragon and, uh, what was it, ground type Pokemon. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this Pokemon to physically hit me. And as you guys can see, it is not going to do that because, yes, it is a ground type Pokemon. And that move won't work. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Dragon Pulse could work right here. And here comes an other Earthquake attack. How is this Pokemon even stronger? If you guys remember, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you will be able to, what was it called? Uh, to find all the orbs, not the orbs, but the, all the, what was it called? Uh, the cells of Zygarde to make its, uh, its other form. So, we're going to be coming out with Mewtwo right here. And I'm going to do something that, well, we haven't done in how many episodes. Let's go right ahead and Mega Evolve this Pokemon. And we're going to hit it with a move that, you know, won't do anything. So here it is, guys. We're pressing this button. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Mega Evolution to Mewtwo Y. You guys remember how that was, uh, like, there was speculation that this was Mew, uh, Mew 3? And that Super Kamehameha attack hits it pretty hard, and, well... <coughs> holy buckets. That is a physical atta attack, so we're gonna go straight for a barrier attack right here. We're gonna make sure that this Pokemon does not faint. And, <clears throat> just like that... We're getting, we're getting rocked, so we're going to go with the Recover Attack. It's probably the greatest thing uh, to Mewtwo Y, or Mewtwo, or whatever. And here comes a Dragon Pulse. And that is not super effective. So let's go again with another Aurora Sphere. Now, the name of the game is to weaken this Pokemon so we can capture it. And, well, it is uh, right there. Now, this Pokemon's camouflaging. And it transformed into a rock type. So, yeah, us trying to hit it with uh, another Aurora Sphere is going to defeat it. So, let's go right ahead and through, throw a Dust Ball since we are in a cave. And come on, stay in the ball. Come on, be cool. Be cool, man. Ah, yeah, this Pokemon does not want to get attacked or does not want to get captured right now. Okay, so here we go. Another Dust Ball. <laughs> And no. Here comes a crunch. This. This is bad. And. Let's see. We're going to have to recover because we do not want this Pokemon to. Well, we do not want this Pokemon to win. And it also. It doesn't have pressure, but here comes a Dragon Pulse attack. Not so effective. Okay, so. What if we go with a Timer Ball? I think I captured Mewtwo with a Timer Ball. Probably. Okay, here we go. One, two, and... Oh, come on! Yeah, almost had it. And here comes another Dragon Pulse from this Pokemon. And that right there is going to just... It's just messing with us right here. So here we go. Timer Ball yet again. Come on. You know you want to be our Pokemon. Oh, you suck. Okay, so here comes a Dragon Pulse yet again. It doesn't seem like this Pokemon have has a physical attack. So, let's go right ahead, throw it another Timer Ball right here. Come on. Let's go. 
Stay in the ball. Be cool. Ah. Okay, he doesn't want to be cool. And here comes a crunch attack. So it's going in for the kill. And that nearly makes my Pokemon faint. And unfortunately, our defense has fallen. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to something better. Huh. You know what? We're going to go with Jordan the Goat. And... Well, hopefully, hopefully we do better with this Pokemon right here. And here comes a Crunch Attack. Not effective. Oh, wow, it took a critical hit. So annoying when you... Oh, so annoying when they get critical hits when you don't want it to. Come on. Stay in the ball. Ah! Wants to be mean. Here comes a Camouflage. And here comes Jordan the Goat with a Timer Ball. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! This Pokemon doesn't want to be captured. And here comes an Earthquake attack. Super powerful. Well, it is a very powerful Pokemon right here. So, let's go right again. And go for another Timer Ball. There's one. And, yeah. It doesn't want to give me anything right now. Holy buckets. Okay, so, Crunch attack. Why are you being so mean? Come on! How does this progressively get stronger if... Oh my god. It's not getting... Look at that. It doesn't get progressively stronger. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to try and figure something out right here because... Huh. I wonder. I wonder. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go with Kakashi right here. There was probably something that I'm missing. But we're gonna go with this again. So there we go, a timer ball. Let's get it. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, come on. Let's go with a, a, a timer ball right here. Stay in our ball, you a-hole Pokemon. There's one. There's two. Come on. There's... Ah! It was so close. And... I bet you anything, this one won't capture it. I mean, we can throw as many Pokeballs as we want to, but this guy is not going to go down. There's one. Ah, you suck. Okay, so... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I know I think I know exactly what I need to do. There was something that I missed. And Huh. Here comes a Dragon Pulse. Trying to go for the win. Kakashi Hitake. Not taking a well, not going down easily. So here we go. Timer ball yet again. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to retry this again because this is not working. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here is round two against Zygarde. Okay, so we tried something a little different. And that is, uh, well, you guys will see. I'm going to apply pressure to this guy. Okay, so Zygarde, meet Mewtwo. Mewtwo, meet Zygarde. And guess what? Mega Evolution and uh, hopefully this Thunderway will work. So here it is, guys, again, with another uh, Mega Evolution. Pressing that button, and away we go. So like I was saying, don't you guys remember that th there was speculation that this was Mew 3? Oh my god, the very first Mega Evolution that we've ever seen, and... Well, here comes an Earthquake attack, and the reason I did that... Is because I want this Pokemon to... Well, I want this Pokemon to use Camouflage, because eventually it's going to turn into a Rock-type. And if, if I remember specifically, yeah, Rock-types are affected by, what was it called? Um, they are affected by Electric-type moves. I just, yeah, never bothered to do it. Or Thunder Wave is effective, I guess. And here comes a Camouflage attack, and well, he just transformed into a Rock-type. So let's see if that this actually works. And it does. Okay, so strategy has worked. Alrighty, and uh, yes, you can't work. You can't move now. You a hole Zygarde. So now it is time for us to chop it down, and hopefully Mewtwo just well. Hopefully Mewtwo doesn't destroy this Pokemon because 
Yeah, it is a very, very powerful psychic type Pokemon, especially in its Mega Evolutionary uh, stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to uh, Jordan the Goat, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just continue chopping into this Pokemon down. And here comes a Dragon Pulse attack, and oh my God, that wasn't well, it wasn't that effective. All right, so let's go with the Strength attack. Really doesn't matter. Again, like we're like I said, guys, we're gonna chop it down. We are chopping it down. All right, chop it down like Rocky did with Ivan Drago. So here we go. Yeah, buddy, let's get to the red. Yeah, you can try and camouflage all you want, but it's not gonna work right here. So here we go. And there you go. Okay, so it is paralyzed. Should I go for one more? Yes, I will. I'm gonna go for one more strength attack right here. And alrighty, I am comfortable. I am very comfortable with this. Much more comfortable than the first time. So, alrighty. Let's see. Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and throw a dust ball first. See how that works out. So there we go. Dust ball ready and go. Alrighty. There's one. Oh come on. I'm getting too ahead of myself right here. And here comes an Earthquake attack. And... Oh, my God. Okay, so that's not that effective. Okay. Let's go with a Timer Ball since it did help us with Mewtwo the last time. So here we go. Come on. Stay in there. Oh, come on. Why are you being lame? And yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. Thankfully, Zygarde doesn't have any moves that will, uh, will make it recover or anything. Kind of like Mewtwo did. And, well... There it is. Oh, come on. This Pokemon's being lame. Why are you being lame, man? And a Dragon Pulse attack hits us yet again. But here comes a Timer Ball, which, you know, I would hope progressively gets stronger as we throw it more and more. But there's two. You see? Got a little stronger. Just a little. All righty. But at least we at least we can enjoy this song. All right, many of you guys already know that I love this uh, this legendary theme song right here. And come on, Zygarde. You know you want to be with us. Don't be lame. And here comes a crunch attack. Yeah, this Pokemon is uh Yeah, this Pokemon is not going out without a fight. So here we go again. Timer ball. Come on. Stay in there. Damn it! Should have came out with Zapdos. I mean, Zapdos wouldn't have been affected by uh, by Earthquake Attack. Yeah, that's probably that, that, that was probably that should have been the strategy. Oh well, here we go. Another. Oh come on! You know, times like these make me really, 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 and I mean really, go to the Master Ball. But I gotta be a big boy and capture these Pokemon legitimately because, well, a lot of. A lot of uh, trainers out there are going to be like, Oh, you didn't capture any of your Pokemon legitimately. Well, I'm proving it to you right here on my channel. Let's go. Come on, Timer Ball. Don't be lame. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on. Don't... Ah, you're lame. Okay. Zygarde, you cannot move. Kakashi Hitake. Looking like a, you know, a million bucks right there with his tang waving back and forth. And, well... Here comes another timer ball and another timer ball fail. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here comes another earthquake attack. This guy's gonna be using up his earthquakes pretty soon, right here. And Kakashi Hitake, level 80, not affected. And come on. Ugh. God, this Pokemon is annoying. Yeah, this camouflage attack is not doing anything for it. I'm trying to figure out how many timer balls do I have to throw in order to capture this god dang Pokemon. And there's one. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, this is the reason why I'm taking my time with like trying to make these episodes. Because this guy will not let me capture it. So come on, timer ball. About 50 of them. Three of them worked for, for Mewtwo. Come on. I hate you. I still have Ultra Balls. I could always go with that. Yeah, I, I actually thought of putting this Pokemon to sleep and all that stuff. But I was like trying to figure out, okay, which Pokemon puts it to sleep. And yes! 
Oh, thank God I didn't have to put this Pokemon to sleep or else, man, this would have been a sad game right here. Whew. Alrighty, in Sharp 2, without doing anything, it grows to level 51, and well, here it is, guys, the legendary Pokemon of Kalos, Zygarde. You know, the Pokemon that we should have gotten a complete game for. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. So here it is, both Dragon and Ground type. It's hypnotized that it's monitoring those who destroy the ecosystem from deep in the cave where it lives. Ah, nice. Still trying to figure out its legendary status and all that stuff. So, funny enough, guys, I mentioned this before. So, a continuation of Zygarde's story goes into Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Sun and Moon. And that was because you have to find all 100 of its cells. Yeah, 100 cells throughout the, throughout the game. And sad enough, it, it was through the day and night cycle and all that stuff so yeah it's 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 a very thing it's a very difficult thing to to do unless you have like you know the handbook and all that stuff which i do um it also came out with two forms maybe three three forms and all that stuff correct me if i'm wrong guys but it came out with two forms the dog form that i believe was his 30 percent form and then it's 100 percent form look it makes it look like megatron itself but what sucked about it is that you know, every single time you use Zygarde, its cells separate again, and you have to go look for them, which to me was like, okay, well, that's that's pretty lame right there. So, anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Zygarde. So, as you guys can see, Zygarde, both the ground and dragon type Pokemon, it does have the aura break, which, you know, breaks the aura abilities in our reverse. Has Crunch, Earthquake, Camouflage, and Dragon Pulse, and, uh, well... It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty hefty Pokemon, pretty bulky Pokemon. Very good for competitive play, I guess. I, I, I couldn't tell you. But anywho, that was it for the legendary Pokemon capturing. In the next one, we're going to be going back to, I can't remember the name of the town, but we have to battle five people and activate some stuff in order for the, for the final event to happen. So I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient. As always, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.